In this video, we're going to focus on how we can set a max ticks here and update it. Right now, we have only five. And as you can see here, if I select 10, what will happen, it will change and it will create 10 ticks here. And of course, it will put in here the X amount, how much we want. And we can put in here one. And what will happen is you only have this here. So let's start to explore how we can make this ticks amount dynamic. So let's start to look how to update the tick limit in charge.js. So the first thing what I need is to get a default code, which you can find here on charge.js3.com getting started. This specific link here, which is as well in the description box. Once you're on the site, scroll down and copy this entire chunk of code here. Copy this. And if you want to understand what this code, what this uh, code all does or how it's created, watch this video here. Paste that in there. And then I'm going to cut out this, put that in here, save this refresh <clears throat> sorry refresh and now we have a bar chart so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put in here the tick limits so i'm going to say comma and then for the x scale and i'm going to say ticks and i'm going to set up here for example the maximum or the max ticks limit and by default i will just set it on five so if i do this and save pay attention here what will happen if i refresh there you are you can see here now the amount of ticks is starting to change and the lines are changing as well so that's the first one here. But of course, what I want is a drop down here so we can update that. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say here a select. Oh, sorry, no, that's, a, that's the wrong item or element. So I say here select and then I'm going to say option. And in the option here, I'm going to give a value. And this value will be equal to, let's say this is five or I'll make one. It's the first one is number one. Then I have 5, 10, and then some incrementals. So that should be more than enough. 5, 5, 10, 10, 15, 15, and finally here 20. So then we have this. And then we'll say here on change. So the moment we change this, what I want to do then is I want to trigger a function that we're going to create. It will be called max ticks. Very simple. And then we're going to say here, the uh, argument will be this, which is this element. And of course, later on, we're going to extract the value out of this. So I'm going to copy this, scroll down here, create a function. And let's put in here some enters for extra space. There we are. That's a bit more comfortable. And then what I'm going to say here, this is the value. So we can say a tick or anything you want, but tick would be more than fine. So... And then I will say console log just to show you what this is. So if I refresh here, open up the developer tab right now, and let's open up that or refresh again. We have the console. And if I select here, there you are. You can see here we get all of this, but I want the value. So if we say refresh, select now number five, and then we extract the value only. All right. So now we have this, but I want to update these items here. So how do we update this item? Well, basically, we can do the following. We're going to say here. I'm going to select here the my chart. And if you don't want to select here the my chart, uh, well, there are other ways as well. Or I think, mm, well, I will skip that one for now. That's all right, because probably will not work 100% as what I had in mind. Anyway, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say my chart. Why the my chart? We're referencing to this specific item here. And then what I want to do is I want to update this here. So for my chart, we go to config. And then for options, scales, x, ticks, max, ticks. So then I'm going to say here, configs, or the configuration for config, options, dot, scales, dot, x, dot, ticks, and then finally, dot, max, ticks, equal whatever our value is here. Once we did that, I want to say here, my chart, dot, update to update the adjustments so if i save this refresh here and now let's go here put on five all right oh interesting it doesn't work yet on scales so let's see here of course my bad make sure you spell this correctly save and refresh do again all right so now it's fine of course you want to show anything but if i do one here there you are if i do 10 then of course because it's a max stick so it will only allow us how many is the maximum in this case we are below maximum so it will show every value same with this one here of course let's do this i'm going to duplicate this multiple times one two and three all right 
and then I have this and I'll say one two and three save refresh so now we have this let's do 20 absolutely phenomenal then we do here 10 there we are and then the one absolutely wonderful and that is basically the way how we can modify the amount of ticks that we want to display on a chart if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to play around with ticks but not specifically with normal category axis what we have here but for example you have the dates in that case i'm going to recommend you this video here which is an absolutely phenomenal video which will explore how you can do it on a time scale showing for example day ticks hour ticks on the x-axis in a way that is very very easy and user-friendly to read. So try to export this video as well.